Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and I'm back in my craft room with you today. I want to give you a really quick tip that I learned recently about putting labels onto the rubber cling stamps. Fran France Martin, also known as Frenchie, um, we had this on her blog, I think it was the other day, of a really quick way to um, attach the labels to stamps and have them on there nice and even all the way around. So I thought I would just pop on here and show you how to do it because I, I did this the rest of this stamp set and look at how nice and even I got them. Well, this one's a little off, but that was the first one I did. But you can get them right, right in the middle of the stamp. So I'm not doing any stamping to, right now. I'm just going to show you. So the red rubber cling comes with these lovely stickers. Our rubber stamps have always come with their own stickers. We used to have to cut them out, but we don't have to. We used to have to cut out the um, stamps. So we don't have to do that anymore either. But when I get mine, I always, always, always... Um, trim off as much of the label as I can because I don't like it when it sticks out over the edge of the stamp. For some reason it tend if I find sometimes if it does that then the labels move and they're not where they're supposed to be. So that's my first step is I always take off this much around the outside of the label. It doesn't take long. You can do it while you're sitting in front of the TV watching the show. And then the tip is you then get a block and put with the um, cover still on the back that where it attaches to your stamp, lay that onto your block like that. So you have the part sticking to the block that you would have sticking to the block if you had a stamp. So if you have your stamp and you're stamping it, that's the part that's attached to the block. So that's what you do. Don't take that liner off yet because if you do then confusion can happen and then you'll end up putting your um, sticker onto your block and it, it'll be there permanently. Well, for a long time. So then, once you have it s sitting on there like that, then just take your um, paper piercing tool and take the the liner off of the sticky part that fits onto the stamp. So here's the stamp, and I'm making sure that it's the right way up. So you just you put it down. You flip your block over so that the label is on the bottom. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that with my head. And then you just line it up. Now, can you see? There's probably a shadow on it. So look at that. You just line it up one-handed. There you go. Push it on. And voila. You now have your, your sticker exactly where it needs to be. Not bad, eh? So when I store my stamps, I always leave the rubber in here because then I know at a glance whether I'm missing any of my stamps or not. So there you go, stamp set. Okay, so apparently I got my order in today of all my new Christmas stuff. Looky, 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 all the papers! Anyways, I'm not sharing that now because in about an hour... We're heading off down to Duncan for Ted's surgery. And I don't have time to get into that because it's dinner time. But I wanted to hop on and show you that really quick tip. Um, so when you get your red rubber stamps, you'll be able to do the same thing. I will show you one thing from the new catalog, though. My favorite poinsettia. Oh, my. I have been waiting for years and years to get a poinsettia like this and it comes with dies that not only cut out but emboss too look at them you go oh okay that's just a little teaser of what's coming up so i hope you find this five minute tip 
easy and helpful for you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will not be on tomorrow, but I'll be back on Monday and we'll be doing something exciting, I'm sure. I'll come up with something. Thanks for joining and thanks for watching on the replay. Stamp and smiles and bye for now.